on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Find Some News, man. It's take Find Some News, that guy. Today, we got 95 mods on the testing list. Giants are at two different locations in the United States this weekend. And we got 13 modders to talk about, including 82 Studios, Track X, the TLX. Oh, it's crazy. Let's check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today, we have 95 mods on the list. 92 of them are in Stage 1 or PC testing. And three are in Stage 2 or console testing. Although, these are hidden in between the PC list for some reason. So, some notable mods in PC testing include Salt Storage, Case H, New Holland Classic Six Cylinder, and Palm Trees. Also at testing, we have the Lizard Service Vehicle, TLX 1982 Special, Case H Magnum 34400 Series Special, and Course Play. Rounding out PC testing today, we have the Lizard X Trail, Fiat 19038 Pack, Agco Ideal 2017 through 2023 Pack, Three Point Chain, and Modern Cow Stable. And some notable maps in PC testing include Rogue River Valley, the Agri's Balconies, Bentikov, and Split Mountain Ranch. Jumping down to console mods. Again, they're all hidden in between the PC mods. You can go through and check them if you want, but the three are Garage 40x10, Komatsu FH50, and the 2017 Pickup Police. With all that being said, we still have 125 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is four work days. Just a heads up, the basic pastures pack that was released yesterday from Miss EB Modding has been removed from the mod hub. So if you've been looking for that, well, it's just not there anymore. The reason is not publicly known, but I will keep you updated if any more information is released. Giant software could be found at two different locations in the United States today and through the weekend. The first being GDC in San Francisco at booth N2016, and the second being at PAX East in Boston at booth 16,109. At GDC, you could find game developers, and at PAX, you'll be able to find Kermit and Jenny from Giant Software, along with some of your favorite content creators, and I'll be rolling in tomorrow. If you're in the Boston area, swing by. It's a big weekend in the world of Farming Simulator in the United States. Speaking of, I will be at that event on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this weekend. There's going to be no news or Farm Sim new mods videos tomorrow, but I highly encourage you to check out Mr. Silly P as he does an epic job showing off the mods. I will still have plenty of goodies prepared for you over the weekend, so keep an eye out for those along with some Let's Plays. Clutch and I will also be doing the Farm Sim show live together for the first time tomorrow on Friday, so definitely don't miss that. Jumping over to modern news, 82 Studio went live last night showing off the TLX 2020 Track X Edition. And oh man, did it show up. Tons of customization, four wheel steering, 1,220 horsepower, it's 1,220 horsepower and 177 mile per hour max speed. Do I need to say any more? It's an absolute monster. And if you just wanna have fun in the game and do some wild stuff, this mod is for you. Oh, and as you guys probably saw, the 1982 is in testing today. Next up, Tactical Farmer is putting the final touches on his John Deere 1023E 1025R pack. In a live stream last night, he was working on some bugs on the attachments and making sure that everything is good to go. You can catch him live streaming live on YouTube regularly as he pushes through the final stages of getting this mod pack ready to go for all platforms. Custom Modding's finally got their Valmatol Max Track in game. There's going to be three different wheel options. We'll have a quad, tritum, and tandem, 11 different sizes of wheels with standard and low profile, three different tire models, five different spreader and applicator options, and tons of customization options in the store. They're making great work of this beautiful mod, and I can't wait to see what they bring us next. Hispano modding shows off another screenshot of his pivot mod, but unfortunately it does seem like another modder has tried to copy the idea and are running with it as their own. So Hispano modding says he's going to be keeping the majority of the progress from here on out private to prevent any more problems, although that other modding team has made a habit of copying other modders work for years, so unfortunately I expect nothing less from them. Hispano Modding says that the Pivot Mod can be taken everywhere that you want to go with a trailer attachment and will expand up to four sections, which will all be configurable in the same vehicle. EY Modding's announced their next mod, but beyond what we saw yesterday, it's the John Deere 110 Disc. This will work perfectly with his upcoming John Deere 4320 or any smaller John Deere tractor. You can even pull it with a red tractor if you want, but I don't think anybody's going to do that. One thing that I really like about this mod is it's highly detailed without being overboard or extravagant. Great modeling, great color choice, epic modder. What more could you want? Next up, North Monty Company shows off the first in-game test of their FTG Mojita M151 trailer with the M8 
81DT crane with trailer mounted winch oh what a mouthful we first learned about this trailer back in january when north bonding company first announced their partnership with ftg mojita and it has come a long way since it's looking near completion and i'll keep you updated once we got more info mac trucker 921 is known for bringing the community lots of new ideas and customization options as well as clever changes to existing equipment like his recently released uh, roller and today we get to see something a little bit different wood paneling he says that these are the newest configuration options for his mods as trailer mods the only question is now what color do you choose from i'm thinking blue shocker i'm sure omatana shows up early screenshot of her next map and it's an american map called marigold farm she's dropped an hour-long video on youtube showing off the map's progress and her plans going forward so definitely check that out link below if you play on pc and you're looking forward to yost modding swathing add-on then you're in luck because bc bueller farms who's also credited on the mod has released a first look showing you how it works and it's exactly what you would expect install the mod and boom you have swathing on other maps very very cool he's also sent the mod over to me and i'll have that video releasing on saturday fsg modding have teased another new mod heading our way but we actually have no idea what this one is the hint given is this I hope you stay where you want to be when you want to be. Since this has got a cruise control logo, at least that's what it looks like, I would say maybe something to do with multiple cruise control speeds. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out, but I'm curious, what do you think it is? Let me know. Next up, let's check out something really neat from Thunder FS Mods. Alongside Legacy Ag and Trailer Park Farms, they've added the ability to change colors after an object or building has already been placed down and they're calling it placeable colors. This was actually released a few days ago. My bad for not getting a video out on this beforehand, but it's recently got an update this morning. So if you play on PC and you're using TFP or TPF's buildings, then you should really check this mod out. One thing, the placeable mod has to be prepared for this mod. So right now it only works with a few different placeable items, but that number will be growing as time goes on. Hox23 is making great progress on his next map, Aussie Farms 22. All fields are mapped down and most of the cell points are completed with six of them in total. He's still working on the town itself and adding details to production points currently. He also plans on adding at least three other crops to the map with multi-terrain angle, adjusted stubble heights, and of course, some different crop destruction. That's the information that we have today and hopefully we'll get more soon. This map looks great. And lastly today, friend of the channel, Arxy Gaming has released a help video on how to fix bales with the new Gurval DLC and mod maps. It's a simple two line of code thing and can be done with any mod map on PC. Unfortunately, console players will need to wait for the modders to update the maps themselves, but it can happen. It's a quick fix, for, at least for PC players right now. So check out the link in the description beside Argzy Gaming to see the full tutorial. And check out this self aware segue to the outro to see the full outro. Yeah, I think that works. It's just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article of farmsimnews.com thanks to Yo's Modding. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Also, big shouty outy congrats to Farmer Cop. He just hit 100,000 subscribers. Let's go.